Hey there, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to record pro vocals in FL Studio and right here I have Lisa Nasa. Yes, I have Lisa Nasa once here again and um, we can watch our last session. I'm going to link the video up here so you can watch the last session we had. It was great. So now we're going to look how to record a song from start to finish from the hook, the verse, you know, the chorus, everything all done all right so but first as usual i'm going to show you how to set up your recording session so you get really good results okay so i'm going to come right here options come to audio settings make sure you use your audio interface very important then you want to use your buff you want to adjust your buffer length to be as low as possible so that you have zero or very low latency okay i'm going to come right here to 16 samples i could just take it to 32 32, 32 also works or 64 right any of those anywhere in between that could work okay so come to your track and link them to the mixer so right click the beat right here and come to track mode audio track then insert one i just simply rename this because that's the beat so I just name that as beat then come right here i like to give a little bit of space just so my session looks organized so right click come to track mode audio track then insert three vox and we may do some backup vocals and harmonies and all of that. So I'm going to just come right here and create that as well. So I'm going to come to track mode, audio track, just rename. A few things you need to do is just open your mixer, okay? Now lead vocals, choose our audio interface mic option. So her mic is connect connected to input one, so I'll choose that. Then I'm also going to turn off um, monitoring such as in here herself while recording. Many artists don't like that, so I'm going to turn it off. And always make sure you're using external inputs only so it doesn't print the effects we'll be adding while recording okay then the backup vocals same thing so we'll just disarm the backup and start recording on the lead vocals okay so we're going to do a test record and then we'll see how everything sounds before we do the actual recording okay this is just to test to make sure our mic is working properly to also set our effects like compression tuning and other basic effects we'll be applying on the recording session in the recording session so uh you ready yeah all right so again make sure your tempo is set in your session if you don't have to find your tempo just double click the beat and detect tempo and choose 75 to 150 and it should give you the number okay so i'm going to hit record and then we'll see what we have So I'm going to reduce the volume of the beats a little bit so that, you know, we can hear the vocals better. So that's nice if you can hear with the mic sounds clear and it's picking up the vocals properly it's time for us to apply the effects i'm going to come to delete vocals okay now you need to be careful with the kind of effects you apply while recording because it's not a mixing session we're just going to apply some simple effect just to make the vocal sound a bit more polished so i'm going to come to the recording presets and just come to the presets so we can use either the stock options or the premium option but for this lesson i'm going to use the stock options okay so i'll come to tuning and I'll come to the natural tuning for or light tuning for stock and just drop it on the lead vocals. D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, and the two different stuff. Okay, so make sure you get the correct key and then set it to major. Most times you don't need for the preset, you don't need to set anything else once you set the key, but you can adjust this knob right here on how much tuning you want to hear. But I don't want to be excessive, just you know, light tuning, hence the name light tuning. The next we're going to do is come to compression. We're going to come to the compression right here. And I want to use vocal level, like just like so it makes the vocal sound even, okay? And we need to drop it right here. And then we hear a sound. I'm going to reduce the beat again a little bit. And I'm going to apply some reverbs and um, delay just so that it gives it more life. So I'm going to come to the sends. The chains, I mean, come to the vocal chain, then come to sense. You can see I have the delay and reverb for premium and stock. So I'm going to come to stock, delay, drop it right here, and send the lead vocal. Come 
down to reverb stock as well and also send the vocals You can simply adjust your scent to how much you want, or you can boost this up if you want more reverb, okay? If I turn off all the effects, let's hear it sounds. So now we're going to continue with the actual recordings. I'm going to just delete this and then we'll do another take. What do you think?
All right, so that's pretty much how to record vocals in FL Studio. And thanks again to Lisa Nasa. Yeah, and it, as usual, I'll be adding her socials in the description so you can follow her up and support her music. And yeah, so if you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more tutorials.